Hi, I'm Andy Swain, a Principal Software Engineer in the Automation Group at IFS. I'm going to show you how we can open several pages of the scheduling workbench at once and have them work together. We need permission for this feature, so I will start in the Administration Workspace for the Organisation Permissions. We will open up the Scheduling Workspace and I'm going to grant the Multi-Screen Permission. There are child permissions for this for each of the screens that support this feature. So if I save those changes and go back to the scheduling activities page, we will see that a new button has appeared here. If I click that, we get a new pop-up. This button here brings up the online help in a separate window. The main button here will pop out the current screen to a separate window. So if I click that, I will get a separate tab appearing which will load the activities page. I'm going to pull that tab out and pop it alongside so that we can see how the pages work together. If we open the map, we can do the same thing and pop that out as a separate window. And again, I will pull that tab down so that we can see it. So the first thing to notice is that if I change to a different data set, let's load the smoke data set, all of the windows will immediately load the smoke data. And there it is on the map and in the activities page. If I click on an activity, for example, this is 86, we get this context menu, which should be familiar, but it has some new features. Um, this first one will focus on activity 86 in all of the open windows. So if I click that, you will see that the activities window over here will immediately scroll down to row 86 and it will scroll across to the right time and it will select activity 86. It's outlined there in, in blue. The map window at the same time was zooming to activity 86. If I close one of these child windows or both and then again look at activity 86, we have other buttons here. I can ask to see activity 86 in the activities page. Now it remembers that the activity page was separate, so it will reopen that tab. I can place it here and it should show us activity 86 as soon as the data is loaded. There it is, 86. I can do the same thing in the child windows. So if I ask to see the map, again, the map will open in a separate tab. I can place it down here and we should see activity 86. The other button on the pop-up is this reset, which will ask for all of the windows to come back into the main page and the application will behave normally again. So this time, if I ask to see activity 86 on the map, it will open the map in the current page and display activity 86. Thank you for watching and you can subscribe to the IFS YouTube channel.